right, hello everybody. Today I am going to show you a quick trick for how to test the motor on your treadmill to see if it's bad. Here I've got a Smooth Fitness 9.45 TV. Sorry, I just fell backwards off of it. <laughs> uh, and I went ahead and taken the front cover off here, exposing the motor and the uh, control board here. And the motor is DC. It'll have it written on there, whether or not it's a DC or AC motor, but I would imagine most of these things are DC. So, I actually just broke my multimeter. So I wanna do a quick test. It says right here that this takes 110 volts DC power input. So because this is a DC motor, that means that the voltage given to it is what determines the speed at which it rotates. Unlike AC, that's done by frequency. So DC means that it works the same way a lot of batteries would work. So what I've done is I have pulled the positive and the negative off of the motor. And how I did that was I traced the wires coming out of the motor itself. There's a green ground wire over here. And then there were a black and red. That is the positive and negative. And more than likely, your motherboard will have them labeled in some way, shape, or form. So, from there, I grabbed my drill battery. This is a 18-volt Ryobi drill battery. And I am going to test this motor to see if it works. So what I'm just going to do is I am going to pop these screws and these spade terminals just so I can get a good connection here. If you have some alligator clamps and whatnot, that could work too. And we are more than likely going to see a spark here um, from it arcing. But if we also see a spin, then that'll mean that our motor is good and our problem is elsewhere. So we can see the belt just here the motor here and also there is a, a mark so we should be able to see it spinning and I am going to give this a try and look at there the motor is spinning not getting a lot of heat off the battery that's good so this motor is not bad so we now know to look elsewhere for our problems and that is how you can test your motor to see if it is actually bad because these motors can get pretty expensive. And from there, I'm leaning towards a speed controller or possibly that entire board itself. Um, that may have to be changed to change the speed controller. But overall, the most expensive item on this treadmill is still running. So if you guys want to test your motor on your treadmill to see if it still works and you may not have tools and multimeters and whatnot, you can take your drill battery and you can learn a lot from that.